over the top. She was one of the biggest stars in the world. She was a fun lady. Be rich, famous, live in a pink palace, all those things that she got. Blonde, bombshell, all the curves in the right places. It's a breast-belly ratio. You know, a sex symbol. People just consider Jane Mansfield a punchline. She was always in on the joke. She had children, maybe like four, you know, five, having the fifth. Fox dropped her. So right now, mm-mm, it's, it's, it's not a healthy spot to be. Jane did drugs, yeah. She tried very hard to stay youthful and glamorous and hip. Jane Mansfield was the embodiment of all of the things that feminism stood against. She needs a big Hail Mary to get back. What better way to do that than to go visit Dracula and call all the newspapers? What kind of moron thought that up? Oh, the Anton thing, the devil thing. I never really believed she was that much of a Satanist. She just did that for the photo op. The rumors of the curse. Curses, schmerces. I frankly think it's all a bunch of bullshit. I don't know. The more you read, the more you research, the more you learn, a part of me wants to believe it. Seven different car accidents. The three adults in the front seat were killed instantly. Miss Mansfield was decapitated. She was not decapitated, she was scalped. What is fact versus what is rumor and hearsay? I wish I knew. I don't care if it's true. I like to picture that. I like to picture it. So we're left to wonder, was Jane Mansfield's life spinning out of control or did the devil make her do it?